As the political landscape heats up ahead of the 2024 elections, Vice President Kamala Harris finds herself in the crosshairs of scrutiny, not for her policies or political acumen, but for her growing list of media snubs. The absence of her voice in major interviews raises eyebrows, leaving many to wonder, is this a deliberate strategy or a sign of deeper issues? In a stunning move that has captured headlines and sparked debate, Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee, has turned down interviews with high-profile media outlets, including Bloomberg News and Time magazine. This trend comes at a crucial time, as voters are eager to hear from candidates before Election Day. With Donald Trump seizing the opportunity to speak directly to voters through town halls and interviews, Harris's reluctance raises questions about her media strategy and overall engagement with the public. The timing couldn't be more critical, yet the vice president seems to be retreating into the shadows, leaving her campaign to grapple with mounting criticism. The recent revelations about Harris's media choices have ignited discussions across political circles. Just days ago, it was announced that her campaign rejected Bloomberg News' invitation for an interview. Bloomberg, a name synonymous with Democratic politics due to its founder's history as a presidential candidate, serves as an unexpected but crucial platform for Harris. At the same time, Donald Trump took to a town hall ad by Bloomberg's editor-in-chief, John Micklethwaite, addressing significant issues like tariffs and international relations, showcasing his willingness to engage with the media. This stark contrast in approach between Trump and Harris further illuminates the vice president's decision to decline such opportunities. The implications of her choices were magnified during a recent CNN segment where anchor Boris Sanchez pressed Harris's campaign spokesman, Ian Sams, about her media absences. Sanchez pointedly noted Harris's refusal to participate in interviews with major outlets, questioning whether this avoidance reflects a lack of mental fitness for the job. The irony of this criticism is not lost on observers, especially since Sams himself had previously linked Trump's media snubs to concerns over his mental acuity. In a curious twist, Sams tried to spin Harris's selective media engagements as a sign of her courage, highlighting an upcoming appearance on Fox News as evidence that she's ready to tackle tough questions. However, many see this as a flimsy defense, as the vice president continues to forego more traditional platforms where she could address a broader audience. Adding to the mounting pressure, Harris's refusal to sit for an interview with Time magazine has drawn public ire from its owner, Mark Benioff. His disappointment, expressed on social media, underscores a growing perception that Harris is avoiding critical discussions about her candidacy and vision. With Time's history of featuring presidential candidates, including Trump and Biden, the vice president's decision to turn them down raises eyebrows. Critics argue that Harris's failure to engage with the press is detrimental not only to her image but to the Democratic Party's efforts to rally support ahead of the election. Despite the backlash, Harris has made some media appearances, albeit selectively. While her interview with 60 Minutes and a joint appearance with her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, were noteworthy, the vice president has also drawn attention for opting to appear on more unconventional platforms, such as the podcast Call Her Daddy. These choices highlight her efforts to reach different demographics, but they also raise questions about her commitment to more traditional media outlets that have historically played a significant role in political campaigns. In a curious juxtaposition, Harris managed to fit in a photo shoot with Vogue, a publication known for its glossy profiles rather than hard-hitting political discourse. In the October issue, Harris is portrayed in a flattering light, described as the candidate for our times. This contrast between her Vogue appearance and her snubbing of more journalistic inquiries amplifies the debate about her media strategy, leaving many to wonder if she's prioritizing style over substance. As the 2024 election approaches, Kamala Harris's media strategy is increasingly coming under scrutiny. With each interview she declines, the stakes grow higher. Is she playing it safe, or is this a sign of deeper issues within her campaign? With Donald Trump and other candidates actively engaging the media and their potential voters, Harris's reluctance could cost her precious opportunities to solidify her position. As the race intensifies, the question remains, will Kamala Harris emerge from the shadows, or will her campaign continue to falter in the face of mounting pressure and public expectation? The answers may determine not just her fate but the future of the Democratic Party as a whole.